In this problem, Miss Clark has a total of 42 bananas. There are six bananas in each bunch. Which step can be used to find how many bunches of bananas Miss Clark has? So this is saying that, and we'll use maybe some green bananas here, that Miss Clark has these banana bunches, right? So she has bananas and they're, you know, they're stuck in a bunch, just like they are maybe as you've seen them in a supermarket. But if you haven't, right, you know that, or you should know that bananas do come together in a bunch. That's how they grow, I think, on the trees, right? The question is, how many bananas, um, or excuse me, how many bunches of bananas should she have? Well, each, each bunch, when we put them all together, in the end, we have to have a total of 42 bananas. And since there are six bunches, and you can think of this as one bunch right here, what we're really doing is, uh, is dividing, because we want to know all the bananas you have. Let's say this is a, over here, we have a big group of bananas, right, this is my scribble of 42 bananas. Well, before she was able to have those 42 bananas, they had to be split out into groups or come from bunches, right? The question is how many were in each bunch? Well, I think th that whole process, if you just look at it and think about it, what you're really seeing is division, right? Because you're dividing something into groups. And that's what really division is all about. I'm trying my best to draw this in, in a way that's that's actually on time with the video, so you have to wait here for a long time, but almost done. And as we draw these groups and we divide, you can think, well, since we have six bananas in each bunch, right? And I'm drawing that out, one, two, three, four, five, six. How many times does six go into 42? Well, the answer is seven, right? So here I have, I have one, two, three, four, five. There would be two more, three, four, five, six, and one here. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, sorry about that. Took too long. But anyway, six bunches of bananas. Or six, seven bunches of bananas, each with six bananas in them, would make 42 bananas. And this takes a while to draw out, but I just want to really show you that what's happening here is division. You're taking the group of 42 bananas, right? And you're dividing them by six, because that'll give you seven groups of bananas. And if you add up these seven groups that I've drawn, you'll get 42. So the process here is division, 42 by six. If you look at the other choices, adding six to 42, well, that would give you 48. And that has no connection to this problem right here, so that's out. Multiply 42 by six, what would that mean? That might mean something like you have 42 groups or 42 bunches of bananas, and each bunch has six bananas in it. Then you have 252 bananas. You can work that one out. And here, subtracting 6 from 42 wouldn't help. And, and if you're stuck on this problem right here, you can just work these things out to see what would happen. And um, for example, by divor dividing 42 by 6, you might realize, since that gives you 7, that makes sense. Because 7 groups of 6 bananas, the reverse, or the inverse here, is 42. It brings you back to the total number of bananas. So think backwards and forwards between operations to make sense of problems like this. All right, thanks.